as it turns into a double team, but neither one of these guys can stop this route. You get inside leverage every single time. It's the route, but it's also where the route starts in the play as the quarterback's just always trailing. Until he cuts outside, you can see once he you know flips his hips and starts to run to the outside, that's why this play works. I could have threw this ball at any point in time, probably threw it a little bit late, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, we body that cornerback for another easy one play touchdown. <laughs> For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing the man cheese as always. Got another Glitch Routes video for you guys today. If you guys don't know, every single time I put out a brand new ebook, I also like to put out a Glitch Routes video, or sometimes I put out like a best run plays from that playbook video, or maybe best blitzes if I do a defensive ebook. So it changes every single time, but I try to put out uh, a Glitch Routes video at least once every month or so, and I haven't put out one for a while. So the last, or one of the last ebooks that I put out was the Miami Dolphins. So every single route I'm going to show you guys today is from the Miami Dolphins playbook. Now, the Miami Dolphins playbook is a really good playbook. It's very similar to the San Francisco 49ers, and it's also the current playbook that I'm using. So it's one of my favorite playbooks. It's one of my largest ebooks. If you guys want to see more from this ebook, links in the description and the top pinned comment. All you gotta do is click them, and you can download them instantly. So if you guys want to check that out, I fully recommend it. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I like to do this, like I said, once every month or so. Make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And other than that, let's go let's get right into the video. Now, since this is the Dolphins playbook, I'm also gonna use the Dolphins team to record this video. But I'm not going to use receivers like uh, Tyree Kill or Jalen Waddle because they were, their speed is ridiculous. And I don't want you guys to think that the plays are only working because of their speed. So instead, I'm going to use backups like Chase Claypool and Braxton Berrios, who are both only at 92 speed. But this should give you an idea that these routes are the reason that these plays work, not necessarily the receivers. The first play is out of the single back wing tight nasty. And the play itself is going to be the PA U-drag wheel. This particular play is a very good play against man coverages like cover one hole and cover zero. So I'm going to go ahead and pick both of them starting with cover zero. Now you don't really need any adjustments here, but I will check and release some guys just for blocking purposes. And you'll see how this particular route can get wide open against one of the best secondaries in the game in the New York Jets. There's nothing really to this route. It's just a unique crossing concept, and you can see how it just gets open once it crosses the man coverage. Although the cornerback was in a decent position to make a play. Against cover one, you're just going to want to put the Y receiver on a streak or a fade just to pull back that uh, safety, and it's going to have the exact same effect. I'll give myself that check and release one more time, but you can see how this receiver is going to get across the formation and across the defense, whether in man zero or man cover one, it's going to be the same. There's not a lot to this route other than the fact that you get inside leverage every single time because the receiver starts so close to the line of scrimmage. And that's part of the reason that he gets open when he crosses this route. It's the route, but it's also where the route starts in the play as the quarterback's just always trailing. The next play is only a few formations over and the single back deuce close. And the play itself is going to be the PA drag wheel. This is another play that beats man coverage is like man zero, man cover one. So we'll start off with man zero again. The route I'm going to focus on once again is the X receiver. And you can see once again, he's inside leverage from the cornerback in coverage. And he's also, um, you know, in a very unique route, which is basically going to fight to the outside. It's a unique release angle, which is what makes this route work so well. But like I said, based on the fact that he's in tight like this, the, the cornerback's not going to be able to put hands on him. The only thing you really have to change is the blocking structure. You can either check and release both receivers or the A route tight end. You can just put up on a straight pass block because he's not really going to, you know, that's not going to affect the play at all because I'm going to the other side of the field. So it really doesn't matter. But other than that, you really just have to wait for this X receiver to get up the field. And then you can see as long as you pull bullet and pass inside away from the cornerback, he's going to get open every single time. This play has the same success against cover one, although you have to pass it a little bit different. Against cover one, you're going to want to change the blocking structure one more time by this time putting the A tight end on a streak. You can also motion him out or put the B receiver on a streak and motion him out. You just want to pull that safety over as much as possible. So anybody on a streak will do that. But just change up the blocking structure because that play action with the running back can really pull you out of the pocket. And now that I motioned out that receiver, you can see how this guy here has more of an opportunity to get open over the top. Now, I don't want to just focus on man beaters. So the next play, I'm going to focus on some zone coverages. I'm going to try to give you guys a one-play touchdown with no adjustments against every single defense in the game. The next formation I'm going to switch over to is the wing close and the play itself is the PA cross this is a cover four one play touchdown so we're going to go ahead we're going to start off with cover four match this play here doesn't really matter where you run it on the field but you want to run from a hash mark a lot of times as this receiver here this post route 
really once again it just gets open inside even with double coverage against cover four and this particular play has a lot to do with the, what the other receivers are doing it's because they're running crossing routes cover fours are naturally weak against crossing routes because they're man coverages that don't really commit as you can see both of these receivers are wide open but this also has success against non-matching cover fours as well like the one you would find in the dollar from the cover four drop contain for this play to work against cover four regular though you do have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field which means that the route is being run to the small side of the field and you can't make any adjustments you can't change the blocking assignments because the running back on the uh the check and release actually helps the play and you can see how it's once again not the hugest window but you can split the safeties deep now there's a couple of routes here that i already showed in the niners version of this video routes like the uh, i form close i showed the pa deep cross go uh, i also showed a play from the gun split close which was called the Niners halfback rail. And this particular play was called the Dolphins halfback rail. But if you guys want to see more routes, more glitch routes from this playbook that were also in the Niners playbook, I'll try to leave a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video for that particular video. So stick around for that. But there is a very similar play from the tight slots halfback week in the gun that's called the mesh spot. That is a very similar concept. So let's go and let's pick that. There's another play that's going to be good against man coverage, cover one and cover zero. Against cover zero, you don't really have to make any adjustments adjustments other than moving this receiver out i don't want him so close to the line of scrimmage he's a little bit too close to the point where i'm going to be trying to throw to the running back and the b route might be getting in the way you're also going to want to put the tight end on a check and release or a block and release uh you know drag because you still have that drag route concept but you're also going to uh, pick up the initial blocker which you're going to need at that point it's really just about bullet and pass leading or lobbing away from the cornerback once again and you can see how we get a very easy one play touchdown the reason this play works is because this particular running back is going to run straight at the defensive back and anytime you get this look he's flat footed he has no speed right now so once this running back accelerates past and he tries to flip his hips this guy's going to get past every single time i'm so confident in that that i'm already throwing the ball if i go back to the quarterback you can see that before he even passes i'm already winding up to throw that ball because i know he's going to get past he's not even past the defensive back yet but you can see once that guy flips his hips he loses all his acceleration this guy just runs right past him at this point you really just have to pass lead outside away from the cornerback so that the cornerback can't get back into the play and we got a very easy one play touchdown once again this play works the same against cover one hole and maybe even better i don't have to motion out the b route i mean i really could just put him on a streak but i'm trying to show plays that take little to no adjustment so to me motioning them out makes more sense for the the purposes of this video but just be aware that you can do that as you can see here once again this play works the exact same way and we have the exact same results for very easy one play touchdown against cover one or cover zero now, I already went over that play from the gun split close, but I'm also going to go over a new play from the split close pro, which is something that isn't found in the Niners playbook at all. The play itself is the Dolphins curl post. This is another play that's really best against man coverages, more specifically man zero. This particular play and this particular route really doesn't need any adjustments because I will be throwing the ball pretty quick, but you could always check and release any number of players to give yourself a, you know, a little bit more time to throw the ball, which you really won't need because the X route here, once he breaks inside, is pretty much an easy one-play touchdown. Even with the receiver there or the cornerback there trying to make a play on the ball, you just have inside leverage. It's something that pretty much every play that I've shown is shared. Going to the replay once again, like you say, he's tight to the line of scrimmage, although you can see the cornerback does play him pretty evenly until he cuts outside. You can see once he you know, flips his hips and starts to run to the outside, that's why this play works. I could have threw this ball at any point in time, probably threw it a little bit late, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, we body that cornerback for another easy one-play touchdown. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more glitch routes that are shared from this and the Niners playbook, I'll have the video popping up that I made from the Niners previously. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.